When you sign up to be an administrator, when you sign up to be a leader, you say, I am the greatest problem solver on earth. Because you know what problems you solve? You solve problems like the water heater has burst and kids are at school and we have to turn off the water for everyone. And how in the world do we do that? You solve the problem that this teacher calls in at 7, you know, 15 and kids are showing up at 730 and there's not anybody in that classroom. So how do you solve that problem? You have upset being thrown at you. You have upset parents. You have upset staff. You have upset kids. Like upset is part of your life. So you do deal with it because you don't have a choice. I'd love to challenge your thoughts of instead of dealing with upset, instead of trying to eliminate the people who bring upset, instead of trying to eliminate upset situations, instead of trying to change the upset or avoid upset, would you be willing to think about upset as a gift? I know you're like, are you kidding me, Jill? Like that's, I mean, like if I could take upset out of my day, I think I would go home, you know, stress-free, but I just want to challenge you to think about and look at upset as a gift that is communicating really important things because here's what's the truth. The truth is as much as we'd like to believe grown-ups have the ability to walk up to you and say, I'm feeling really uncomfortable because when I show up, the art teacher and I have this weird relationship, they don't have the words to say that. So they come up to you and say, the art teacher is never there on time. They just constantly keep coming to you and complaining about the art teacher. And you're like, what is it with the art teacher? It isn't the art teacher. That person's saying, I'm struggling to have a hard conversation. Because they also talk about that they're frustrated with the recess person and, they're, and they want you to have all these conversations. So upset, if you choose to step back and you choose to really look at it, it's an opportunity for you to recognize what skills are missing in the children and the adults around me and how can I coach and support the growth and development of those. So a huge and vital piece for us to recognize is in order to have a healthy relationship, what's going to happen? There's going to be conflict and there's going to be upset. This experience that you're having in this e-course that you're doing, how is this taking you to a different level? Because we are asking you to look at your upset. It is so easy to look on the outside uh, and see teachers yelling or teachers um, feeling frustrated or kids having upset. But do you reflect about your own? Are you a person who's like, head on, I am coming at that upset. I'm going to be loud. I'm going to control this. I'm not going to allow there to be anything else. Or do you, when you see things going on, are you the person who avoids it, tries to eliminate it, wants to fix it? So recognizing how you personally handle upset is going to be a big part of the unveiling in this journey. And are you willing not just to have an awareness, but are you also willing to recognize areas where perhaps you could practice a new way to respond.